yesterday in round six at the Olympia, there was a beautiful exchange sacrifice played by Anish Giri to beat Badr Jobaba. It started after bishop takes f7 check, rook takes f7, and then the beautiful textbook move rook e6 was played. This is just such a perfect exchange sacrifice. So if it's captured, which it was in the game, white gets a pass pawn on e6, the d5 square open for the knight, and then white can play rook e1 and force through e7 when white wins pretty easily. Now, if it's not captured, for example, if rook c8, let's say I play like this, now I can just go h4, and then I can go queen h6, attacking the d6 pawn, and now everything collapses. Now I can play rook e3, rook h3, rook takes h4, and the whole thing falls apart. So, in the actual game, you get to see a perfect example of a domination exchange sacrifice. Knight takes e6, d takes e6, rook g7, and here white just brought everything in. White played knight d5, black tried g4, didn't really do anything, white just played rook e1. And here you see after queen f4, now the f5 pawn comes under attack. So take, white just plays the bypass of g3, keeping the position closed. Rook c8, queen takes f5. And here he just made it really easy on himself. He just played take, take, and here come the connected pass pawns. f4, f5, rook f1. And here after rook f4, actually black resigned. And the reason why is white's just going to run the king right up and win the game. Beautiful stuff.